you guys were former concierges at hotel. Now we tell them five minutes into the interview. <laughs> you were concierges at big hotels in Times Square. Yes. yes. And you were deluded with idiotic customers <laughs> asking you questions and about New York City, and you decided to write them down. Yeah. Exactly. Here's here's an excerpt. Maybe you guys can reenact this. It's hard to see sure. for the people in the back, but Love you I'll, guess. I'll take yeah. guess. Okay. Guest and concierge. Well, you must know all up and down this here city. Well, I know a bit. What can I help you with? Even down there in that Chinatown there? Yes, even Chinatown. Well, where can I get my hands on one of them cheap coach bags? Oh, well, there's the knockoff ones down in Chinatown along Canal Street. A real coach for real cheap. Okay, uh, there's a coach outlet just outside the city that's reachable by bus. How much? Well, the bus is $41 per person. No, the bag. How much does the bag cost? The price will vary depending on what they have in inventory at the store. The bus to get there is $40 round trip. On the subway? No, on the bus. A subway bus? <laughs> no, just a bus. Oh, I thought I'd ask. Which way to Chinatown? <laughs> so there is, there is an example from the book. But you've also, filled this, you've also filled this with helpful tips, practical advice, how to hail a taxi? Yeah, uh, do hail taxis that have the center roof light lit up. This means that they are available. Do not hail parked taxis. This means the driver is trying to eat a foot long. <laughs> Drivers got to eat too. Now a fun part of the process I'll share <laughs> yeah. is uh, that uh, originally uh, this was going to be me like this and then a picture of Hitler <laughs> like that because it's like because we'll see people do that and then we considered that what that would mean is that there'd be a straight up picture of Hitler in our book. <laughs> and um, You rightly reconsidered. Instead you yeah. eat in a sandwich which yeah. It's a win-win for everyone. Tastier. We learned that joke in brain is different from joke outside brain. Right. And there's a, this is a personal confession. Oh, yeah. You don't have to read this all, but this is, this is some, of, some of the things that you've experienced working as a concierge. You know, look, we have some insight into your lunch habits. Yeah, so uh, a lot of the big hotels have cafeterias where you eat, which is, it's like high school, but like um, the same. It's like high school. <laughs> uh, or like college dorm. Uh, food but weirder and like they're just like sad people with bad lumbar spines uh, eating around you. Uh, that's french fry salad uh, which is where you go to the uh, salad bar that has dark greens and like a lot of like vegetables and then you turn around and get french fries out of the french fry thing and put it on salad. <laughs> it's protein, um, right? Yeah, I ate this and it tasted good is the last sentence. <laughs> um, uh, and that's leftover cake because uh, steakhouses will come and bring you large slices of cake as your concierge because they know that you stand on your feet all day and like small things like food mean a lot. That's super nice. Yeah, so we all... Uh, this is like informative. We're learning about the secret lives of concierge. It's weird, yeah. I had no idea. Uh, I shared this with my female coworkers and we ate it with the same fork like tiny orphans living in a box car. It tasted good. <laughs> and my blazer never buttoned ever again. <laughs> that is true. The most exciting thing as a hotel employee is when like you'd have different like catered events, but where like they're like really bougie, where the clients decided that they didn't want the prime rib, it wasn't good enough. So suddenly everyone in the hotel cafeteria was grabbing like 20 handfuls of like these very <laughs> tiny appetizer plates. I miss those days. Yeah, I just like well. eating tiny beef wellingtons off of a square <laughs> napkin, like standing in a huddle with your coworkers, like silently. Like just literally eating. 30 of them on your tray, because that's the only way to like make like a full one. Yeah, at like 4.30 in the afternoon, you're not even hungry. It's just like, you have to. It's just there. Yeah. Exactly. And you eat it. Yeah. And you're in great shape. <laughs> no, no. Uh, this is a, a cute uh, dog you put in there. This is Bobby Flay. Uh, it's his name. <laughs> Whose dog is it? Uh, that's Anna Rosen's dog. Okay. Uh, this, this is true. In our book proposal, we kept reminding them that we will put p cute pictures of dogs. And I do think that is what helped us seal the deal. Seal the deal. Yeah, absolutely. That was it. But, but the bulk of the book is uh, these mini dramas that are scripted out. Uh, and again, all real, true stories. Do you want to read some more of these? Excuse me, I'd like to report illegal activity going on in your hotel. Well, what is it? I'll report it to security. I believe the teenagers in the room next to mine are sniffing glue. S sniffing, um, how do you know? Well, I used to sniff quite a bit of glue in my day. I recognize the signs. What are the signs? <laughs> well, I smell glue and I hear sniffing. <laughs> These are, I mean, they're so good. I put a few here. 
Let's listen to this one. Let's, this is timely. Oh. We want two tickets to a show. Absolutely. Did you have one in mind, or would you like me to recommend one? What's the one about the cats that sing and dance? Cats? No, that's not it. <laughs> it's probably The Lion King. <laughs> now, now, now it becomes clear. I have one more for the road here, and this might be my favorite that I've seen recently. And again, these are at howmaywehateyou.tumblr.com. Dot com. Which is the Tumblr, and the book is available. Yeah. One more for the road here. I bought this salad at your 24-hour deli, and it's awful. I'm sorry to hear that. The food and beverage manager at the deli will be glad to refund you. I mean, look at this. Doesn't this broccoli look disgusting? That's because it's cauliflower. It's still not good broccoli. <laughs> Honestly, good point, you know? <laughs> still not good broccoli. Give it up for them. And then you have some books for sale here tonight. Yeah, you yeah. can buy it from us. There's also an audio book, so that's a lot of fun. We do play a bunch of different characters in the audio book version as well. Available on Amazon. <laughs> That is awesome. It's really good and it's uplifting in a weird way too. I think it's it's got yeah. yeah there's humanity. It's in this basically book. eat, pray, love. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <We> escaped. <laughs> Anna Dries and Todd Dakota Briscoe. Thank you so much.